Hello everyone. Today we have a very useful video for anyone who wants to expand their phone storage. Let's say you bought a phone with 32 gigabytes of storage and you feel like it's not enough. You can easily expand it to 64 gigabytes if you have a 32 gigabytes phone or to 128 gigabytes if you have a 64 gigabytes phone and so on. This will greatly help you in your everyday phone use, allowing you to download more apps and files such as audio and video. Additional storage is always a good thing. So, for those who want to expand their storage, pay attention. Listen to the video from start to finish, because there will be many different steps. First, I'll show you how to do it, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to restore it all back if you decide to do so. To increase and expand your phone's storage, we'll need a micro SD card that can be inserted into your phone. We'll make this card your phone's internal storage, so your Android phone will consider it part of the internal storage. What does this mean for us? This allows us to easily install and move all existing apps to the SD card, and they will work without any problems. This way, we increase the storage capacity. For example, imagine you have a 32 gigabytes phone. You installed several apps and now you're running out of memory. You can simply move all these apps to the SD card, and your internal memory will be completely free. You can move not only apps, you can move other files as well. Let me show you. Look, I open my default file manager, represented by a yellow folder icon. By clicking on this folder, we see our memory and SD card. Note that I currently have a Xiaomi phone with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It is recommended to use an SD card with a capacity similar to the internal storage of your phone. For example, if you have 32 gigabytes, use a 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes SD card. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. The SD card needs to be formatted. So, if there's anything important on it, be sure to move it somewhere else. The SD card should be empty, and if there are any files on it, they will be formatted. Now I'll show you another menu as well as the phone settings. Here's the Android 14 version. Go to Storage. And if we scroll down, we'll see our SD card. We can eject the card, format it, and go to the storage settings. It will show how much space can be freed up. Why am I showing you all this? We'll come back here later to see how our SD card is displayed. Now, let me show you the card itself. It's a regular 128 gigabytes card. Once you put it back in the phone, we'll need an app called Activity Launcher or Lown Activity. It has a white icon shaped like a rocket. You can download it from the Play Store. It takes up very little space, about 2 megabytes, and it provides advanced search capabilities for your phone. So, once you have the app, you need to go to the standard settings and look for the about phone section or something similar. Find the firmware version and tap it about 10 times until it tells you you're a developer. I don't want to do this, since I already have it active. Now go back to settings and find advanced settings. Scroll down and you'll find a setting that will help us. You may need to subscribe to my channel and like this video before continuing. By the way, don't forget to share this video, as it's very helpful and will help many people increase their storage several times over. Using this method, you can easily turn 32 gigabytes into 128 gigabytes. This setting is called, Allow Saving to External Storage. Enable the option to allow apps to save to external storage, regardless of the value in the manifest. Now we need to launch our launch activity program or launch an activity and allow it to load all your apps. By the way, I have many videos about this program on my channel, so feel free to check them out for more useful information. Once everything loads, find the search function, type the next word, look closely at the stamp, and pause the video if necessary. As you can see, there are many different files. We need to specifically click on the second line. But keep in mind that the second line may be different for different phone models. For you, it may be the third or fourth line. You can write it down, remember it, or take a screenshot. It should have a name similar to the one I showed you. Click on it, and you will enter a menu. 
In the top left, there are three bars. Click on them. At the bottom, you will see your SD card. Now find the three dots at the top and click on storage settings. Here you will see the name of your SD card, which may be something like SF or disk, or whatever you named your SD card, or it may be the default name. You will see the option to format it and use it as internal storage. Click on internal storage. You will be prompted to format the SD card. Click format. The formatting process will begin, and all data on the SD card will be deleted. If you have anything important on it, be sure to transfer it to another device beforehand. You'll be prompted to move files, media, and some apps to the SD card, and this process will take about 30 minutes. However, I recommend choosing the option to move content later. This is also a good solution, but we'll do it differently. Tap Move Content Later. Now the SD card is ready for use. Tap Done. From this point on, you don't need to do anything else. Just return to the home screen. After completing these steps, your SD card will no longer be visible, and the phone will treat it as internal storage. Now let me show you. Open the file manager, tap the folder, and on the right side, you will no longer see your SD card. If we go to the phone's storage settings, you will see that there is no longer any information about the SD card. Your SD card becomes invisible, but the phone recognizes it as internal storage. Of course, if you're doing this, you should insert the SD card into the phone and forget about it. It feels like the phone treats it like thermal memory. If you remove the card, apps you've moved to the SD card will stop working, and there's a chance the phone will reboot. Some people have reported this. Sometimes the procedure doesn't complete properly. So, pay attention to what we're going to do next. We need to use our app again. Launch activity. I'll tell you right away what to do. Press and hold this button in the app and click on the app. And there are other permissions here. Click here. And when you load only one such app, many of these features, like mine, will be disabled. That is, the red crosses will always need to be activated for everything to be flushed. This is necessary for the app to function properly. Now I'll show you why we mainly need to create shortcuts on the desktop. Let's go back. Let's launch our app again, loading all the data from all the apps. Wait again. Press the search button at the top and type all apps here. You don't even have to type the entire text. We need the top line. Press and hold the three dots on the right and create a shortcut. The shortcut is created. Now go back to the desktop. And here's the shortcut. If we hadn't checked the three boxes to delete the shortcut, this shortcut simply wouldn't have been created. Press it, and all apps will launch. You can get here another way without this program, but it's not very convenient. I'll show you another way right away, and then I'll show you what we'll do without this program. You need to go to the Google Play Market. Click your avatar on the right, the help icon on how to delete an app on Google Play. Click to go to the app settings, and you'll get to the same menu. But with the program, we created quick access to get here. Getting here takes a long time. And again, if you have a dark theme, you won't get here. You need to temporarily switch to a light theme to access the settings. I'm leaving, but I just showed you two ways to get here. Enter the shortcut we created, then all apps. There's another option at the bottom, show system processes, but we don't need it now. Why did we drag any apps or files to the flash drive? Well, let's take cars, for example. Open it, go to storage and cache, and an edit button appears. If you didn't come here for that, then this button won't be there. Click Edit. Look, internal and shared storage are currently available, and the SD card is available, although the phone doesn't currently see the flash drive. I already showed you this, and accordingly, the computer won't see that you have a flash drive because Android thinks that's all the internal memory. Just take it, click on the SD card, move the car app to the SD card, and wait for everything to move. Then go back to all apps and just check again. I'll show you. Everything really did move correctly. This car app will load again from storage and cache. Edit. And look, this app is already on the SD card. This means your internal memory is now free, and your app will run on the SD card, 
which you formatted to 128 gigabytes. In this case, let's try with any other app. You can do this with any app. For example, let's take another game. Edit storage. Move to SD card. Click on all apps again, but again, just to double check this WhatsApp app, go to storage and edit cache and make sure everything was correctly moved to the SD card, that is, everything works. Let's try the same thing. For example, clutch. Launch it. It works fine. It shows my videos that I made. That is, the account works fine. Even though it's now on your flash drive, it doesn't take up your internal memory. If you want to return to internal memory, follow the same steps. Similarly, go to all apps, find the app you want to move back. In this case, it's WhatsApp. Go to storage and cache, change it, and select internal server. Now I'll go back again. Go to all the apps to double check the WhatsApp storage changes and see that everything has been restored and the app is working. Now listen carefully. I'll tell you four ways to restore everything so that the flash drive is correctly recognized, read, and displayed on the computer and on your phone. Because in this case, your flash drive is considered internal memory. And if you connect it to any device, computer or PDA, you won't see this flash drive. And even removing it and reinserting it, unfortunately, won't help. That is, everything will remain as you already set it up. If you want to expand the memory, for example, if you have 64 gigabytes, you can get a flash drive and upgrade to 128 gigabytes or more, but not less. Is it worth getting an equivalent flash drive? Now about restoring the flash drive. The first method is very painful, a full factory reset of the phone. Of course, you'll delete all apps, all existing files, all accounts will be lost, and a complete factory reset will be performed. You should understand that everything will be deleted. The phone will be as good as new. This must be done with the flash drive inserted, and this will help with the second method. Find a card adapter that currently fits your flash drive. Insert your micro flash drive here. Well, card readers can be different. Insert your flash drive here. It won't be detected as a flash drive, but you'll be prompted to format it. It needs to be formatted in FAT32 so that phones can see it. But sometimes it only offers two formats, FAT and NTFS. In general, if it only offers two formats and not FAT32, just format it in any format, then manually reinsert it into the computer and manually format it in FAT32. That's the second method. The third method is even easier. You'll need another device that supports the same flash drive. Take another phone, remove this flash drive, and insert it into that phone. Then reboot the second phone, and you'll be prompted to format the flash drive. Simply take it, format it, and it will be recognized as a working flash drive. The fourth option is to use only the phone that currently has this flash drive installed. But at the same time, you need another flash drive. It doesn't matter what size, just a micro flash drive that fits your phone. What do you do? Remove it, remove this flash drive, and insert another one. You don't need to reboot the phone, just swipe the curtain, and a notification will appear asking you to forget this device. Tap, forget this device. Then simply remove the flash drive you inserted, you no longer need it. Insert this 128 gigabytes flash drive you had here. Now your phone will ask you to format it in the required format. Just tap, format, and that's it. Your flash drive is now recognized as a working flash drive. Don't forget to share this video with others so they can also learn how to easily expand their storage. Leave a comment, like, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.